Well, hello there team and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going back to Automa Chef. Uh, specifically, I want to play some contracts mode today. You can see you've got your main campaign, you've also got contracts. This game, for those that aren't aware of it, because it has been a little while since I've touched it, is essentially like a conveyor belt efficiency optimization game. You can see it in the background, a la, you know, your sort of Factorio types. But where a Factorio is super open world sandboxy um, and gives you a lot more space, this generally gives you a very set kitchen and you want to try and work to getting as much efficiency out of the cycles. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little bit more narrow in its scope. But then, because of that, it has multiple levels that you play through, and that's what the campaign actually is. Now, con contract mode is uh, essentially an amalgamation of the campaign mode, but you can sort of pick and choose what you do. I believe you have, like, sort of an external tech tree sort of set up as well, so you can tech up and build your business worth, and you're essentially... You're, you're basically getting contracted out to certain companies to fix their kitchens. So it's very close to campaign mode, but there's a little bit more meta progression, I suppose. So we're just gonna chuck it in to a new one because I only really did one episode of this back in the day and I would like to really uh, get into this in earnest. Company name. I don't know. Seeker Inc. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's go with the... Uh, I, I quite like these designs, but whatever. That, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't really mind. Um, okay, cool. So we've got our inbox, and this will be our mission offers, essentially. Um, then we've got machines down here, and this is like our tech tree, right? Machines unlocked, 9 out of 39. There's quite a bit to it. There's quite a bit. But, um... Oh, and we do start with a little bit of cash, and can we buy these with just pure cash? We've, that's the one we've already got. Right, but look, it's it's not a cheap uh, investment. Now, one thing I was curious about is, do we have to pay any sort of upfront costs or anything? That's my contract. So you can have multiple contracts at a time, and that's one of the cool sort of twists on this. You might get to a point where you can't really beat it with, um with your current set of bill, uh, uh, machines. So you can sort of just leave it. And until you run the uh, the cycle and the puzzle and say that's what it is, then, then you cash in the, the contract there. So it's not like it's under a super strict time limit. Um, now they give advance payments, that's cool, okay. But we don't have to pay anything up front. The only thing I think you'd have to be careful with your money is... Oh. Required reputation. Oh, here you go. There's all the different clients. Yeah, uh, what you'd have to probably be careful with blowing your money on all this is if I end up into a point where I can't really overcome any of my missions with my current tech and I don't have money to buy my way out. So maybe there's an end game condition there. And we've got different difficulties. Do they affect all oh, they do? All right. Well, we'll just go with medium, but um, I'm very curious about... Oh, like, uh, can we redo them at a higher difficulty to squeeze that cash out? That is an interesting sort of question. All right, so they're only, this is, this is very cheap. Payment, 58 grand. That's fine. Let's do, oh, we'll get an efficiency bonus. Right. Objective, use X wattage and, um, deliver 11 dishes during rush hour. Well, we'll do that because it's only the two dishes. It's pretty basic. It'll be good for me to get back in the saddle, you know? It's been a little while, and, you know, serve as a bit of an introduction, because our channel has grown significantly since, uh, since last we played this. And again, this is, this is in- while I play everything, I don't really care, I'm indiscriminate, um, this is much more in line with the sort of, let's say the core of the channel, which is those stationeers, sort of extreme, uh, puzzling, mental, sort of, <laughs> gymnastics games. Alright. Here we go. Jeez, we've only got a very small kitchen to work with. The music is so good as well. Okay, so what ultimately is going to happen is people are going to come here. It's, a, it's almost like Cook, Serve, Delicious, but less sort of action game. Um, you fire it and forget. Cheeseburger and fries, which you can click on, and it explains to you how to build it, right? They're, uh, they're not that straightforward, actually. They're moderately complicated. 
and the orders will come and you have to deliver them in, in a sort of uh, amount of time. Now, blueprints... Blueprints are essentially, I can save my layout. So if I want to wipe clear or, or that sort of thing. Okay, so... We're gonna need an order reader. We'll just plonk that there. And essentially... This sends like a, a logic pulse. Uh, depending on what order is coming, right? So we, we will need that. Um, if we were to walk backwards, let's let's do that. Let's go. We'll need an assembler, and and let's tell this assembler to make uh, cheeseburgers, right? That makes sense. Finish dishes on the left side. Yeah, cool. And we'll just leave it on normal. But you can actually put it on high speed or power saving to affect its time. But it also uh, affects our uh, our power output as well. You can see we have a, we have an amount that it wants us to keep it under. Um, now you can't just put it straight on the conveyor belt. The game's not smart enough to do that. Well, I mean it's intentional, but we can put a dumb robot arm there and that will just pick up anything. Anyone that's played Factorio will probably be familiar with dumb and smart arms. The smart one you can tell it to pick up specific things, okay? So if we go back to this recipe, it's gonna want um, oh, okay, it's gonna construct them out of these three things. So, burger bun. Let's get- let's get going with the burger bun. We're gonna need a dispenser. Alright, so say we pop... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. how are we gonna do this? Let's pop you there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. This music's stuck in my head even now, even ages after I played it. Alright, let's go and we'll put... I believe you could put a conveyor belt straight there. And then a dumb arm. Okay, cool. Bang. We now have uh, an insert for our bun. Now, what else do we need? We need a cooked patty. And from that, we need a raw patty to be cooked, funnily enough. So, if we were to get the electric grill, this is how you get your patties cooked. Um, what's the... We're going to need an arm to take that off anyway. So, what if... Hang on, we might even come back to that. What do you want us to do with the cheese? The cheese needs to be sliced. Now, the thing with the cheese food processor is that's kind of automatic. So what we might actually be able to do here is we'll put that there, we'll put a conveyor belt there, and then we'll put a dispenser there, all right? Now what's gonna happen is it's gonna get a chunk of cheese, that cheese will automatically go through the processor and get turned into sliced cheese. It'll go up here, and this dumb arm will just pick it up along with the other thing as well. Okay? Nice. So, electric grill. Okay, um, I think what we'll do here... We'll put a dumb arm, but you can change its direction of behavior. So we're gonna go... Go to the left. So it's gonna pick up rearward, and it's gonna drop left. You can see that there. And then we're going to put in a, a grill, right? And, um... Actually, you know what? We can't put a dumb arm because it'll just pick up the raw patty. Sort of sight unseen. So if we put a patty on there, it'll pick it up before it even cooks it. So we'll put a smart arm, we'll go turn left, and we'll say pick up a... cooked... cooked patty. I want you to pick up cooked patty, alright? Uh, meanwhile, we're gonna need a dumb arm to put the patty on there, right? And then we'll need a dispenser to send out the patty. It should just be able to pick it up from the front. Raw patty, okay? Now, we're not quite there yet, but I, we can still... We'll just save that. Empty slot, I guess. But we should be able to just run that, right? And... It's not getting any impulse from the order thing, so these will just start making them. See? Alright, so the bun's gone in, no worries. The cheese got sliced and went in. Patty's cooking. And when the patty's cooked, up he goes, on he goes, boom. Once it gets the patty, that should be enough and this will start making a burger. Yep, off it goes. And then he'll lift out the burger. Boom. There's an order. Order up. Okay, cool. So it works. So it works. The Now what we'll do is we'll have this order reader. We'll go order to detect fries, right? And then we'll connect and say... Wait, what am I talking about? Not fries, burger. Apologies. New connection to part. What we will say is, okay, 
when you receive an order, dispense a bun. Perform action one times on new order. I don't think you need two buns, I think we'll be alright. Okay? Same goes for the cheese. Form action one time. And then we'll go raw patty. Form action one time. Now we could add another part. What would we add? Because it starts to get a little tricky then. We can try and save power on some of these things. Um, say we go with this, with the food processor. Right, because it can't do actions. But uh, turn on for one second on new order. Let's make it two seconds, hey? Over here, you can do that. And then if we were to test that, so this thing won't actually do anything. You can speed it up, but I don't want to get caught out. Alright, there's the order. They all turned on. Yeah, see, look, now the process is not working, so that wasn't good enough. So we, uh... I don't know, let's put it for five seconds. I'm, you don't... This is sort of how you get the efficiency out of it. Alright, cool. So it's running. I've just paused it. Cheese comes out. Oh, see, five seconds isn't actually long enough for it on order. Hmm. So how would you best do this? What other options do we have? Turn on while order is pending. Actually, you know what? That makes much more sense. Right? As long as there is an order in the queue, the food processor will be on. Processor. Yeah. It's, it's still going to be a bit wasteful, you know, for power. There you go, processed it. No worries. Cool! Alright, anyway, that's just an example. What we should get is a functional uh, kitchen, and then worry about that second part. Alright, now fries. We need to build fries. Do... we don't need an assembler? Oh, no, no, I think we do, actually, to make... to put it in the little McDonald's box. Right, so we'll, we'll make an assembler, and let's say... Same story, we're gonna need a dumb arm. But we also need to, you know, you need the room in the kitchen. Uh, ch 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 oh, this is tricky. Oh, no. Um, well, what if we just do that? We just do that. Right, we'll go... Make... Oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, that's the other thing, the cost. Cash. Cash. 50,000. That's- that's what I was wondering about. That's my own cash, I think. Right? I think so. Cost 24 grand. So let's just go save. I don't know, I save it there. It's probably the same thing. And if I go, uh, exit to main menu. Here's my current contracts. I do have 50 grand here, right? And I'll pay 58, which isn't too much. Okay, cool, cool. But see the cash 50 grand that I've got. So we go back into this one. And that's our cash there. Oh, hang on. Uh, lucky I saved, eh? 24 grand. So we have to be out of pocket for our own uh, costs. Now, the payment presumably would cover the cost, you would hope. Hmm. But it does say cash 50 grand. I wonder what would happen if that... We didn't have that. Well, let's not overthink it too much. But yeah, so you just gotta be careful you don't brick yourself with your own starting money. Um... The Fryomatic food processor... Yeah, okay. Let's see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Right, so we'll have to put a smart arm on this, and we'll tell it, uh, what would it be? Fried, fried potato wedges, right? Uh, no, 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 we're missing something. 
fried potato wedges into fries. You can see what I mean? Like, cook patty to cheeseburger, and the assembler didn't seem interested. See? Ah, okay, well, let's go exit to main level. That's okay. And then we'll check our tech tree machines. Uh, dispense, trans, assemble, assemble. Right, so there's an assembler. Packing machine. That's what we need. That's what we actually need. So I am going to do... What, what is that? An, an advanced assembler. No, no, no. Right, well, we're going to buy a packing machine. This will be interesting. Let's see if our capital is affected inside the mission. Um, boom. Start. Start. It is. So there you go. You have to use your own money to build these kitchens. Which is very cool, and then you'd get reimbursed, but yeah, yeah, the, I don't know if there's a line of credit in this game, so... Be careful. Alright, now this... Given how this machine works, we probably won't need a hand to, uh... To lift it out, it looks like it'll be alright. Alright, so you can make fries. And again, we're gonna need, uh... Potato wedges that are fried, right? So if we were to build backwards... Because that's just how I seem to like to do it. Uh, let's put you there. Same as what we started before. So we're going to need a smart arm that we turn to the left. Right. Oh, and we go pick up fried potato wedges. Not raw ones. Right. And then you go back another one. Potato wedges and potato. That's a food processor job. Now you could try and send them through the same food processor. Cut down on, uh, you know... Keep your efficiency up, I suppose. I'm not interested in that. Uh, let's give it a dumb arm. Alright, and then we're gonna need a dispenser, which, same as the... ...cheese, it can just go straight through. So, potato. So, if we do, do an eyeball, potato into dispenser... Oh, uh, into, sorry, into processor, picks it up, fries it, puts it through, packages it. Nice, alright. We'll put down another order reader, potentially. We'll go fries, connect apart. This one. Oh, no, no, no. Potato, okay. Uh, do nothing. Perform one action on new order, right? Food process, we'll do what we were doing before. Turn on while order is pending. Uh, what can we do with these? I probably could just do turn on while order is pending for all. Like, that's some pretty base level stuff, you know? On, on. Because you can only have four connections as well. Have we got four on this? Yeah, cool, okay. So that's probably some basic efficiency there. Alright, so if we go and save that, we'll put that in that blueprint slot. And let's give it a go. Let's see how it how it does. I didn't test my my potato machine, but I'm sure it works. Looks like it is so far. Pack in, order up. Beautiful. So obviously the burger is a little bit more complicated. Now I don't know if the orders coming in are random or set. That's something I never really divined. Uh, I would assume that they're set, because it's a puzzle game, you know, that it's sort of like one size fits all. So our power usage... Energy used... We're doing alright, we haven't actually hit rush hour yet. Oh, look at that, the whole chip machine turned off for a little bit there, because we managed to fulfill all the orders. I think these are the rush hour... Yeah, here we go, we're starting to fulfill them. Holy hell, look how crazy this is! Hey, We did it! We stayed under power, and we got the rush hour thing done as well. Efficiency, 99%. That's good. Nice. Kitchen report, there are no kitchen events to show. Okay, submit design. So that's how much it's cost me, and how much I've been paid. I got the efficiency bonus, and I got some reputation, and we made a little bit of little bit of cash out of that. Okay, cool. 
That's that's a really good case example of how this game is supposed to work. But that was on the one easy mission, so <laughs> let's see how, how that goes. Now the reputation obviously adds to um, our, what was it, my business here. It changes who we can get to. Completed contracts, easy, medium, difficulty, contract forfeits. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I wonder if it's infinite. I wonder if this game is just, this mode is infinite or something. No, surely there must be a ceiling to these missions. Um, my contracts. Okay, so the contract gets deleted um, when it's done. So as far as the difficulty, you have to know what you're doing when you pick the difficulty at the beginning. Okay. Well, I think... Oh. I just took a moment to load. Okay, so the amount that they're offering... And that's got a little advance payment too. Oh, nice. Um... I don't, I, we're still working it out. Maybe I will be a little cagey. They're offering less payment, and to me that means that it's probably a little bit easier than, say, these big bites of the pie. So let's do that. Let's add this new contract. What is it? We've got to make hot dogs, chicken wings, some sort of, looks like fries or something. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's accept that. Nice. Payment, 94 grand. Okay, cool. And we've got like 78 in the bank. But it's good. Like, if we get stuck on the puzzle, we could attempt one of the other ones at a different sort of angle. You know? Alright. What, what is this? Bacon fries. Oh, you Americans. The weird food you eat. Um. Efficiency. Yep, okay, cool. And then plain hot dog. Right. Well, let's make bacon fries. So they're going to go through an assembler, I think. That's what it looks like. No, no, no. I, uh, sorry, I meant to say this. Oh, mind the aeroplane. Bacon fries. Right. Potato widgets. We've done that dance before. Is there any crossover at all? No, the chicken seems pretty on its own. No, that's okay. All right, let's get these fries going. Potato wedges. We've done this dance before. Yeah, we're gonna need a deep fryer. We're gonna need a smart arm. We're gonna need a dumb arm. We're gonna need a food processor. And we're gonna need a dispenser. Alright, put that all together. We get. Uh, what are we even making? We're making fries. So I want potato. Okay. Um, dumb arm. Cool. Yep. We want this to pick up. Potato. Fried potato wedges. There we go. Boom. And we told that to make fries. Okay, cool. Oh, hang on. There's an issue here. There's not enough room for the other ingredients. Crispy bacon and bacon strips. Okay, hang on. What we'll do is, uh... Actually, no, that... That'll work. Bacon strips, right? Crispy bacon? Cool. Okay, so we're gonna put that on a grill. We'll get a smart, um... Uh, ch -ch -ch. We'll get a dumb, um... Uh, the controls are so intuitive. Like, once you know what you're doing, you can really move. Uh, dispenser. Alright. So we're gonna get bacon strips. Um, we're gonna get... No, 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 not raw bacon strips. I want crispy bacon strips. And you're gonna serve us to the left. Alright. Cool. Boom, boom. Cheese, cheese, and oh, grated cheese. So I think that's twice in the food processor. Actually, you know what? I've done the same thing again. Let's just be sensible here. We'll make you go straight. And then we'll get a conveyor belt there. Let's just set this up now before I do it again. 
Um, food processor. Food processor dispenser. Okay. Cheese. So that'll get double done and it'll get shredded, it'll go up to there and that, that's it. That's it. That's our, that's our bacon fries. It should be done. What's the simulate order button do? Oh, it runs the... Oh, there you go. That's exactly what we need. Boom. Done. That's the button that I, uh, I needed. Alright. Uh, fried chicken. So that's, that's an assembler as well. Um, can I tell it to double assemble? Oh, you can. That's dangerous though, because there is a ceiling on how many um, ingredients you can sort of have in the pipeline. But I'm nothing if not someone who wants a challenge. So let's do it. Make me some fried chicken. Fried chicken pieces, breaded chicken pieces. Oh, geez. Okay. Uh, hmm. Might need a... All right, so that's an assembler, I think. Yeah, assembler goes into that. Breaded chicken. How do you how do you bread it? Oh no no, it comes out as bread chicken. So this is the assembly point, and then we fry it. Okay. So what we need to do is hit a fryer. Fryermatic. Let's do this. We'll go smart arm. Um, not breaded chicken pieces. I want fried chicken pieces. Okay. Um, and we want our assembler. Oh, excuse me. How best do we do this? Oh, we might be able to do something cheeky like this. Breaded chicken pieces. There we go. Oh, how are we going to put that straight in? Um, yeah, here we go. Conveyor belt. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you can change its speed. That's actually huge. That's something I don't do, and I should. Because that will help with all the timings for everything a lot. So that picks up the bread, boom, boom, that goes around, goes into the assembler. Okay, cool. Raw chicken into pieces, that's a food processing job. So... We're gonna need a dumb arm like that. Let's go... Actually, we won't need that for the moment. We'll probably, we will extend it, but let's just build it one thing at a time. Dispenser. So we'll get chicken pieces or whatever it is. Raw chicken, right? Raw chicken. Gets chopped up, goes in the assembler. Okay, cool. Egg, egg contents. I'm pretty sure that's a food processor as well. What can we do there? Dispenser. Uh, egg. Do, 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 do. There we go. That'll work. Bread through a food processor. Oh, look at that. We're not given a lot of room for that last machine, but we'll see. Bread slice, food processor. All right, so theoretically, that should work. So if we go simulate order, let's watch. All right, this is chicken pieces, egg, more chicken pieces, but that's okay. Why is the bread not moving? Oh, look at that, the bread needs to see the Oh, oh, I've put a food processor down there instead of a bloody conveyor belt. There we go. So this is why we run these tests. All right, hang on. Let's go. Simulate order. Look at that. 
bit of egg, bit of bread, chuck it in the assembler, chuck it in the grill. Hang on. Where's the other machine running? Stop that. It doesn't matter. It's working. It's making the chicken. It's going to probably get really clogged up there. But whatever. <laughs> we'll work it out. Next, we're going to have to build a plain hot dog machine. Because you see here, they have a hot dog craze. That's it. But that's... Uh, it will be on its own line. Like, we'll run the hot dogs up here. So, them interfering with each other. That'll be interesting. We'll have to see how the efficiency all works out. Alright, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Let me know what you thought of this game. I, I love it. I've been dying to go back to it. And this whole shaking up the channel and getting everything in order... Um, has been a perfect excuse to sort of revive it a little bit. Something that might have flown under your radar. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.